They've invaded our seas, our food chains, and even our bodies. And once they're there, plastics and microplastics aren't going anywhere. That could all be about to change though, and that's because of this, self-destructing plastic. It might sound like something out of a sci-fi movie, but plastic that breaks down by itself, biodegrading in nature, is now a reality. It's been created by a company called Polymateria in London, and I want to find out more. If plastic is so damaging, why do we use it at all? Well, plastic can be quite useful. It can protect vegetables, for example, for transport. In some countries, you don't have access to tap water, so you need to put water in bottles so that people have drinkable water. The trouble is, when plastic ends up in nature, it is very stable and doesn't biodegrade, and so it will then become microplastic um, and then stay further in nature. As well as bottles and food containers, plastics are found in everyday items like face masks, wet wipes, and even cotton wool. But now, Dr. Florence and her team have come up with technology that means plastic can biodegrade in nature. To show how it works, they conducted an experiment where regular cotton wool was left out of its packaging for three months. This hasn't changed at all. But then if you have our technology in, then the plastic would transform to this wax material. It's just like a powder, it's completely falling apart. And that's what our technology does. It transforms regular plastic into this wax material and this can now biodegrade in soil. This technology can be added to anything, from cups to wet wipes. And it works by breaking down the strong bonds between the chains of atoms that plastic is made from. But how revolutionary is it? There are some plastics that break down naturally, like composting bags, which people put their food waste in at home. How is this different to that? Well, you, when you have composting bags, they will biodegrade in a composting environment. The plastic composting bags are able to be broken down by the same tiny organisms that attack the food waste. In nature, this isn't a composting environment. It's a regular environment where you walk in the park, etc. And your composting bag, they would not break down, but ours will biodegrade. So there is a role for different technologies to do different things. And Dr. Florence says they can actually build in how long a plastic item lasts before it self-destructs. It will depend on the type of product. So bread bags would only need to last six months, or cups you would want maybe them to last a year. Given that this technology already exists, why aren't we using it for all plastics? But there is a small cost associated to incorporate the technology. And I think it's also up to the viewers, the consumer, all of us, to ask companies, governments for a change. It's clear that the use of plastic isn't disappearing anytime soon. But with technologies like this, maybe the plastic itself could. Helping us turn the tide on plastic pollution.